We're going to spend some time now this morning talking about Project Lighthouse. Now this is a street outreach program of the Florida Keys Children's Shelter. They serve at-risk, homeless, and runaway youth in Monroe County. Scarlett, thank you so much for being here with me today. Good morning, Jenna. Thank you so much for having me. It's All right. a pleasure. Project Lighthouse, this is something that I have recently just heard about, and I'm so impressed by all the services that you offer, Scarlett. Why don't you tell our viewers who aren't familiar with your program? I'd be happy to. We actually uh, try to do a one of everything sort of program for kids that are on the streets and local youth who are in the community and just need a positive place for youth to be. Um, one of the things we do is offer showers and laundry facilities to clean up. We have a clothes closet. We have a food pantry. We just recently received a huge donation from the Navy with the Feds Feed Families program. We have some cooking facilities. We have um, I, uh, we can operate as an office for our kids, basically internet access, phone access, phone, fax, email. Um, if they're looking for jobs, we can help with employment seeking, um, building resumes, things like that, volunteering in the community. Um, we help with housing and refer our kids to appropriate shelter services or try to reunite them with family if that's a choice that, that's possible. Um, we try to help, stay, help families stay housed. Um, we have art and music activities, which are a lot of fun. Uh, we actually have quite a few local kids that like to come and just jam on a guitar. We have mentors in the community mm -hmm. that come in and give art lessons or guitar lessons or things like that. Um, we have a lot going on right now. This is a very interesting time for Project Lighthouse. Um, we've actually been in operation for nine years. We're wrapping up our ninth year. Really? It's really hard to believe, yes. Okay, so you've been around for nine years. And now, Scarlett, mm -hmm. how do the youth find out about your organization? That's a really good question. Um, we, by design, being a street outreach program, we go out into the streets and into the communities to find kids to work with. Um, we work with all youth and their families up to including age 21. So we try to get the word out to folks who are out and about who might encounter a street kid or a local uh, kid in need to send them our way also. We have what we call a street ambassador network of people all across Monroe County in uh, various social service agencies, people working the late night shifts at 4 a.m. on Duval, people in the boating community. Um, local families in schools and DJJ and other homeless agencies and resources. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much try to help spread the word mm -hmm. that we're here for any kid who needs help Great. in their family. So Great. I got to say our street kids are our best allies in that. They find that they find their friends and their peers quicker than anybody else. Oh, I'm sure. I'm you sure. And, and they know best too Definitely. who needs help because they can relate to them as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Scarlett, you have a big event coming up in just a week. Yes. I can't believe it's already August almost. I so I said that to my coworkers this morning. <laughs> I can't even believe it's already August. That's yes, right. August 3rd, Saturday morning, uh, about a week and a half away now. We are uh, the beneficiaries, I guess that's the right word, um, we're having a Conquer Public Navy nautical flea market, art fair, and taco feast at Hogfish Bar and Grill. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. This is the second time we've done it. Um, we have a number of community sponsors that are helping us put it on. Um, among, uh, along with Hogfish Bar and Grill, we have the Yankee Captains. We have Capital Bank, who's helping us access the Fish Busters area over there, and they have volunteers helping us um, flow parking. We have, um, it's a stray turtle production, I have to say that. We have some friends in the community and with them that have done a heck of a great job letting everybody know to come on out. We have about 50 to 60 vendor spots we're trying to fill with folks in the community who would like to vend their nautical wares, their art, um, their art, this and that, mm -hmm. uh, and other various things. So mm -hmm. we're still taking vendor reservations. Great. First come, first serve. Great. Well, there are a lot of a lot of yes. artists out there, so you shouldn't have problem filling that. Yeah. But if you are interested, you need to reserve your spot now. And for more information, Scarlett, I know that they can reach out to you at yes. any time. Um, they can call me on my cell, which is 305-797-1659, or shoot me an email at jaisomers, S-O-M-E-R-S, at yahoo.com. 
Um, my first real name is Jay. I go by Scarlet as a pirate in another hat. So <laughs> either way will work. But okay. yes, let me know, please. It's first come, first serve. Um, we're asking for a $20 donation for a 10 by 10 spot. And then from there, it's a bring your own. Great. And the most mm -hmm. important thing, of course, to note is yeah. that all the proceeds from this event benefit the Project Lighthouse, which serves, as we mentioned, the youth here in our community. And Jen, may I say also mm -hmm. one thing? We have some two very exciting things going on with Project Lighthouse. And one thing that I think is really important to get the community aware of is that we have recently moved our drop-in center. Mm -hmm. So we are now at 1102 Truman Avenue. If anybody knows a kid who could use our services, please send them our way at 1102 Truman Avenue. Uh, the cross street is Francis. And the second thing is we've just reapplied for our next three years of funding. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start our 10th year, October 1st, assuming everything goes as planned. That's awesome. And it's That's looking exciting. really good too. So and you'll fantastic. continue making a difference like you're doing now. Yes. All right. Well, Scarlett, thank you so much for being on this morning. Pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in and joining me today. I hope that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.